Hey, what's up everyone? This is Bella and I just reached 3,000 subscribers. <laughs> I'm here today with my custom made Love Me Right shirt. There's my name in the back. And also pajama pants because I'm just filming this video. I'm not going out so why put real pants, right? If you've been following me for a while, then you probably know that when I reach a new milestone, I post some bloopers. This time, decided to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna tell you some things about my videos that you might find interesting. And then I'm gonna also put some bloopers as well. Let's go! Number one. Sometimes it's really hard to find an outfit that resembles the original. I like to get the closest I can get to the original outfits. It's just something that I like to do with the outfit uh, helps me get in the mood of the song, the concept, and I think, and I really like just wearing cool stuff that looks like the things that the idols wore. But sometimes finding a similar outfit is not that easy, especially in my wardrobe. So I tend to borrow pieces of clothing, like it's very rare for the whole outfit to be made from my own wardrobe. So thank you to everyone that has lent me a piece of clothing. Sometimes I even make my own outfits out of other clothes and safety pins mostly. Also, sometimes to make the outfit more detailed, we just gotta improvise, you know. I have worn shirts inside out and or backwards multiple times. The weirdest thing I've done is probably on my shooting love video. The La Boom girls wore things on their fingers. The concept was archery, archery, how do you pronounce that? People that play that sport, they wear stuff on their fingers and the Laboon girls wore it. And I thought it was really cool, but I had no idea what that was, so I just had to improvise. And what I did was grab tape and tape my finger. Because the camera was far away, you couldn't see that it was tape. So yeah, that's probably the weirdest thing I've done. But when we don't find a similar outfit on our wardrobe, and we don't have anyone to borrow it from, we buy new clothes. I went out with my friends to buy stuff for my Pinocchio outfit for my TT video. I bought red suspenders and a Peter Pan hat. There wasn't a Pinocchio hat, Pinocchio's hat is yellow and I couldn't find anything. But Peter Pan's hat was similar in style and it also had a feather. So I bought the Peter Pan hat. So. Pinocchio's head is actually Peter Pan's head. Two, making the video enjoyable is very important. Every now and then I try to make my videos more interesting by doing different and creative editing. And it takes a lot of effort. I spent literally hours searching for tutorials on how to do the glitch effect that I used for my Russian roulette cover. Also, at the end of that video in which Yellow Bella turns off the other Bella. I had this idea after I got home from filming, so I had to think how to do that. And I thought, hmm, if I use a green screen, I can put together the two Bellas, but I don't have a green screen. So what I did was <laughs> put a blanket, the brightest color I could find blanket, on my wardrobe and stand there to make my own green, actually pink, screen. And it worked! Okay, it wasn't the most professional thing ever, but it worked okay. I also spent hours editing my cheer up video to make the effect similar to the MVs, you know, the the lenses effect. Three. Sometimes when we are filming some inconvenient stuff happens, for example, people walking by and like, I mean, there's a camera and there's someone dancing, why would you walk in front of the camera? That's just I don't know, I just can't understand, but I mean, um, at least I get some bloopers out of it. Number four, another thing we don't tell you is that we do get frustrated learning the dances. We are used to learning dances and practicing and filming, but every new choreography is another, for me at least, stressful moment, because I get frustrated really easily, and sometimes I just want to give up. On learning to dance. Even though in my videos I appear really confident 
and like I know what I'm doing sometimes it's just really frustrating it's something all of us have to deal with the frustration of trying to learn something that you feel like you can't Number five, and the last thing K-pop covers usually don't tell you is that, well, at least for me, I do this because I love dancing. But the reason I keep posting this online is you guys, my subscribers, it is really motivating to receive good comments. I've wanted to give up a thousand times, but I haven't because of you guys and because of my friends and my family and everyone that keeps motivating me. I hope you liked this video. Um, I'm sorry if it's too long. Um, I keep talking and talking and cut to bloopers.
Ela tá viva. Eu te uso. Nothing.